Next on, we have Medina for a short poetry. No, she's, she's she's, she, she has a message. Uh, oh, she has a message. Yeah. And uh, uh, Farah Bose will be translating. Yeah, yeah. Medina is a writer and an activist from Afghanistan. She was one of the organizers of the protests in Afghanistan against discrimination and human rights violation. Due to her activism, she was arrested by the Taliban along with her two children as a political prisoner and was held in captivity for 18 days. Welcome. Um, I think the introduction doesn't give justice for, for us because you remember when Taliban took over, there were a loads of protests in Afghanistan. Yeah. And who was on the front line? Women. You! In the name of freedom, dear friends, today I'm standing here to tell you about one of the greatest human tragedies in the world. In Bohran, Bohran of Hartoid Agencies, Kepas as Borgast, Taliban, Bodrat, Beshekli, the Savare, Bardome, Afghanistan, Tahmil Shodas. We face an unprecedented crisis, namely that of, that of sexual apartheid that has been imposed on Afghan, Afghan society since the return, return of Taliban to power. We have witnessed unimaginable deterioration in conditions of women in Afghanistan. Taliban با اعمال قوانینی سخت گیرانه و محدود کننده عملا یک آپارتاید جنسیتی را بر جامعه افغانستان تحمیل می کنند. Taliban by implementing harsh rules and regulation have imposed absolute sexual apartheid on, on the society. تبعیزی سازمان یافته و نهادینه شده که زنان را از حقوق اساسیشان محروم کرده. They have institutionalized the discrimination that denies women their fundamental rights. این آپارتاید جنسیتی نه تنها نقص آشکار حقوق بشر و اصول جهانی عدالت است بلکه تهدیدی است علیه ارزش‌های مشترک انسانی که ما به آن باور داریم. Sexual apartheid not only violates the human rights and fundamentals of international human justice but is a threat to our common human values. اما این مسئله تنها به افغانستان محدود نمی‌شود. اگر امروز در برابر این ظلم سکوت کنیم فردا ممکن است شاهد گسترش این ایدئولوژی های تبعیض‌آمیز و افراطی در دیگر نقاط جهان باشیم. This situation however is not limited to Afghanistan. If we remain silent in the face of this barbarity, we will certainly witness the spread of this fundamentalist and discriminatory ideology in other parts of the world. وظیفه ماست که صدای خود را علیه این بیعدالتی بلند کنیم و به جهانیان نشان دهیم که آپارتاید جنسیتی در هیچ کجای دنیا پذیرفتنی نیست. It is our duty to raise our voices against the injustice and be loud and clear that sexual apartheid will not be accepted anywhere in the world. این مبارزه مبارزه است برای عدالت نه تنها برای زنان و مردم افغانستان بلکه برای تمام جهان. This struggle for justice is not only for women and people of Afghanistan, but for the world. We must remember that women's rights are human rights, and any injustice against them is an, in, an injustice against all humans. از زنی که واجه های زن، زندگی و آزادی رو برای من محکوم بخشید مینا احدی خانومی که در تمام لحظات سخت و دشوار از زمانی که من در شرایط تحت تقریب بودن طالبان تا زمانی که به زندان رفتم و از زندان آزاد شدم و به نروژ منتقل شدم کنار من و بچه هم بود و ما رو تنها نگذاشت effectively translate the meaning of uh, woman life freedom for me and she, she stood uh, by me all the time uh, till uh, we managed to survive but even when we were under the uh, um, brutal rule of Taliban and I want to thank Meena Hadi. Woo!